Welcome back, friends. This week we're learning about insects and specifically ladybugs. And today I have a nonfiction story, so this is going to have real facts about ladybugs and real pictures of ladybugs. It says grub to ladybug. That's what they're called before they're a ladybug. They're called a grub. The book is by Melvin and Gilda Berger, and it's by Scholastic Publishing. So nonfiction tells us real facts. Here's the title page called Grub to Ladybug. This ladybug is red with black spots. So see the real picture of the ladybug? Hopefully you're looking for some of those outside. Look for those around your house, out in your yard or when you're on a walk. The mother, lay, uh, the mother ladybug lays eggs on a leaf. There's the eggs. And here, this book has a bunch of little fun facts. That's what it says, fun fact. Ladybugs lay, um, lay a few eggs at a time. So they don't put all their eggs together. They move around and lay them a few at a time around the leaf. And I have a little thing, what it might look like if you found a leaf with some ladybug eggs. That's what they look like. So she'll put a few on this leaf, and she'll go to another leaf, and she'll put a few on that leaf. Here's what they look like. They're real tiny. This next page shows them really blown up big. It says ladybug eggs are yellow. So they're not really that big. They took a picture and blew the picture up so that you could see them. They're real small like this. So they lay their eggs on a leaf. And then the eggs hatch. And when they're hatch, a grub comes out of each of those eggs. Fun fact, the grub does not look like a ladybug, so it doesn't look like it's mother or father yet. Okay, and here's what a grub looks like. It's not real, this is a pretend one, it's a plastic one that I have. So there's what a grub looks like. You might see these outside. They're a grub before they become a ladybug. This is what they are when they come out. They grow and they eat and they get bigger. They're a grub. The grub eats little bugs. So it finds little bugs on leaves. Ladybugs are really good for your plants because when your plants have little bugs on them, the grubs, the ladybug grubs, will eat those pieces. Grubs can eat at least 60 bugs a day. That's what our fun fact says. The grubs grow bigger and bigger. The grub gets a big new skin, so it'll molt its skin. That means it'll take its old skin off and have a new skin. Fun fact, grubs shed their skin at least three times. So here it is shedding its old skin, and then it's got a new skin underneath. This is the old skin, and here's its new skin. And he gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Then the grub stops growing. There he is eating some more bugs. So then the grub stops growing. And the grub makes a hard shell. It's called a pupa. And here's what a pupa looks like. Let me grab the leaf so you can see it a little better. That's a pupa. The pupa changes into a ladybug. It takes a few weeks for a pupa to come a ladybug. That's what that says right there. So here's the, the pupa, and there's the ladybug coming out of that pupa. The ladybug has six legs because all insects have six legs. There's three on this side and three on this side. Six legs. Ladybugs are insects. All insects have six legs. We just said that. The ladybugs have four set of wings. So they have the ones that have the spots on them, and then they have some little clear looking ones. Four sets of wings. The new ladybug lays eggs on a leaf, just like their mother did. And the cycle starts over. So after they lay the eggs, do you remember what happens next? What comes out of the egg? It's a grub, remember, and it grows. It sheds its skin three times. And then after it does that, it becomes a pupa, remember? It's a pupa. It stays there for a couple weeks, and then out comes a ladybug who then again lays eggs and the cycle starts over. Go outside, see if you can find some ladybugs. 
Several of our activities this week involve ladybugs. Have a good week. Bye.